Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the sum of the first 200 odd whole numbers. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So it might be a good idea to first write down what uh, the sum might look like. So the first uh, odd number is 1. The next one is 3, so plus 3. The next one is 5, so plus 5, plus 7, plus dot, dot, dot. So you'll notice that if you think of these numbers as a sequence, if you think of the terms of the sum as a sequence, 1, 3, 5, 7, it's an arithmetic sequence. So we can use the formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence in order to do this problem. So the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence is equal to n, which is the number of terms. In this problem here, it's going to be 200. The first term, a sub 1, which is 1, we already have that, plus the nth term, which we'll have to find. That's the last term. And it's all being divided by 2. So let's write down what we have for this formula. We know um, that n is equal to 200. We also know that the first term is 1, right, because it's here. And we just need to find um, the nth term. That's all we need to find. So the nth term is 200. So there's a couple ways to do it. Um, you can reason it, which we'll try to do in a minute, or you can use a formula. So the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d where d is what's called the common difference. So here d is the number you add over and over again. So in this case it's pretty easy to see that d is 2. So if we plug everything in, let's plug in the 200, then a1 is 1 plus, and then n is 200, minus 1, and then d is 2. So this would be a sub 200, equals 1 plus 199 times 2. And I'm just going to put this in my calculator just to be really safe. 199 times 2 plus 1. So I got um, 300, 399. Oops, 399. All right, so now all we have to do is plug everything into our formula. So S sub 200 is equal to, so here um, n is 200, a sub 1 is 1, and then a sub 200 is 399. It's all being divided by 2. This is equal to 200 times 400 divided by 2. So this will be equal to, let's see, 40,000. The answer here is 40,000. You know, I think there's another way to do this problem, and I, let's just try it. Hopefully this works. Um, an odd number can be written a certain way. In particular, you can write the nth term of the sequence just by looking at it. You don't even need this. You can write it as uh, 2n, I think I believe it would be 2n uh, minus 1. Yeah, this would be the general term of the sequence, I believe, 2n minus 1, because uh, think about it. If you plug in 1, you get 2 minus 1, so you get 1. If you plug in 2, you get 4 minus 1, so you get 3, etc. In general, you can write odd numbers in math like this. 2n minus 1, 2n plus 1, 2n plus 3, 2n plus 5. Those are all odd numbers. So when I saw this, I thought, hey, wait a minute, they're all odd, so maybe we can come up with a formula. However, I did it this way because this is from uh, a section in a book where uh, you, know, you learn arithmetic sequences. In any case, you still use this formula. So it's just an easier way to find a sub n. For example, now if I plug in 200, I get 2 times 200 minus 1. So I get 399. So this is faster than all of this. So just an alternate approach. In any case, I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck.